Welcome back everyone. My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version for a brand new beta. This is the beta version 1.16.200.57. It is available for Android, Windows 10 and Xbox. Actually, this beta came out yesterday. I apologize that I'm a little bit late, but this is quite an important beta. And before anybody asks, this is not Caves and Cliffs. And the reason why is because last week or the week before, we were given the version 1.16.100. Now in that version, it has come with a lot of issues down to invisible mobs, block breaking issues, villagers teleporting, and so much more. Now I believe the developers are hard at work fixing those bugs. So it's very likely we're going to see another hot fix. Going back to Monday, mobile devices seen an update being 1.16.101. It's very likely that all the Bedrock versions very, very soon will see 1.16.102 or 103. I know the numbers are absolutely insane. So if you guys want the official change log, it is down below. Um, let's start off with the tweet from Mega Spud. Good afternoon. We have a bug fix beta going out today. Check out the change log. Now, still a possibility that this week we could still see a Caves and Cliffs beta because Monday was a hot fix. Tuesday was this beta. Wednesday is usually snapshot days, which is today. And tomorrow, depending on the time when you're watching this video, is usually beta days. But I want to take the time in today's video to go over this. Has anybody seen this? So, uh, this has been going around in the community recently. It says banned. You have been banned from Minecraft Online. You will not be able to play on servers, join realms, host or join multiplayer games, or use the marketplace. If you are paying for a realm, you will need to cancel your subscription through the store where it was purchased. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I love like the ban hammer. I do not know what fully warrants a ban. I don't know what's going to get you banned from my guess. It's going to be like hate speech. It's going to be like using hacks and cheats on servers and realms. It's going to be like, I don't know, anything that's suspicious is going to get you banned. Now, going back to the other day, Mojang posted an article saying moderating Minecraft. So my guess is they've had increased complaints about I don't know, iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation 4. Now, I'll leave a link down below in case you guys want to read it, but basically, you could be banned. They've now got an active moderating team that will moderate the forums, uh, the servers, the realms, and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you've seen this message, your account is banned. I, I, I don't really know too much about it. It's not my picture. I was sent it on uh, social media. Okay, if you guys want the beta text hider, it is down below. As always, in every single video, let's activate and let's back up. Just get rid of the text at the top um, in case you guys want to use it. But specifically for today's video, I'm going to not use it. And that is because I want to keep an eye on the FPS counter. So we have an FPS counter here. A lot of people have been experiencing lag. I want to see if they focused on any of these issues this week. Let's go to game. So again, they're still working on a lot of the bug fixes that have been reported, but I want to go over a couple in today's video. Let's go through the bug fixes, performance and stability. So that's what they are focusing on because that's what the players have been reporting issues with. Improved terrain building when flying with the Elytra. This is quite an important one. So whenever you're playing any version of Minecraft and you're using the Elytra, Ever seen it where chunks don't load in and there's like a big square there and you're like, oh my god, there's the void? Uh, things like that have been have been happening quite frequently. Now, I went over to the bug tracker and it says, chunk loading is slow, causing lag spikes, void walls, and lighting errors. Now, this has been an issue for quite some time in the Bedrock community and it looks like the developers are now focusing a little bit more on it. It just explains how this happens. I'm using a pretty high-end... Uh, graphics card on Windows 10, so I don't experience too many of these issues. I think it's more aimed at some of the lower end devices. That being said though, whether you're using a high end device or a low end device, you typically shouldn't be experiencing issues like this. And ever since 1.16.100, it has been increased. So uh, if you're in beta guys, and you have been experiencing lag or chunk loading issues with the Elytra, go and try it and let me know in the comment section if it's any better. Fix the bug that would crash the game when using the crafting table on creative mode. 
what a random bug. But yeah, if it was crashing for you, now been fixed. Fixed an issue with a runaway block ticking queue that occurred on a looping data-driven block that changed itself to a different permutation. The bug could cause memory issues, increase the load and save times, as well as stalling the game periodically. So big, big report right there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so chunk loading, data-driven blocks, memory issues, you name it, it's it's been fixed. Technical changes, reduced content warning spam with data-driven block geometry. A fix for dedicated server that copies the experimental toggle state to level settings while initializing the server instance to make sure it uses the value specified in the loading world. Fixed a data-driven block, fixed data-driven blocks to shrink UVs the same was as actors to prevent UVs bleeding. So these are technical changes unless you really go in depth about Minecraft. They're not really important to every single player. I think these are more important to like add-on creators, map makers, marketplace creators, but I still like to go over them if they're only small. So you guys are going to say Caves and Cliffs. We could still see a Caves and Cliffs beta this week. I'm not promising anything because I know there is issues with the core game of Minecraft and that is usually their main um, fix. So... What I'm going to do is forward slash time set night time. And the reason why, guys, is because during my live stream, and some of you might have seen it, you probably have experienced it yourself, villagers teleporting. Like, when I say teleporting, one of these guys went through the wall and just fully disappeared. Like, it's a visual issue. I think they may have fixed this, or I think some of the bugs that they fixed in this beta fixed this issue. But if you haven't experienced it, it was pretty crazy. Go and check out my live stream from last night on my Echo Live YouTube channel. It's a pretty new channel, getting closer to 5,000 subs on that channel. Um, so I kind of want to see if this has been fixed. And all, all you had to do was stand on the bed with the villager or just move the villager. It looks like they've kind of fixed it. So I'm guessing one of those bugs has fixed this issue right there. Uh, it was fun. In some cases, villagers will go up in the air. So we're going to have a lot of questions in regards to a couple of different bugs. I put invisible mobs, question mark. There was no mention of that in the change log. Block breaking lag, question mark. Well, they've kind of classed that as chunk loading. So maybe that has been fixed and improved. Chunk loading lag. Again, these could probably be put under the same category. And saved villager trades. So there's been a, a little bit of a discussion about villager trades. Because if you healed a villager, a zombie villager, they offer you a good trade, right? Well, they introduced some parity from Java which has started to change with already traded with villagers. Like they become a little bit more expensive and people are not happy about it. So let's say you had a mending guy and he was offering a mending book for one emerald and one book, fantastic trade, right? When you updated, it was like saying he was more expensive. Let's say 20 or 30 emeralds, which really isn't what you want to do. So yeah, there's still a lot of questions. Um, again, I've been keeping an eye on my FPS counter. The only experience lag that I had was when loading in. But solid 60 FPS, and you can keep you can keep an eye on it right there. Most of the time, we're at 60 FPS, and if we just go and load in some new chunks, I can hear my computer powering up. We're still at a solid 60 FPS. It's not really dropping, and this is a pretty big terrain, 59, 60. So we're still at a solid 60 FPS. So again, I think it's more related when you're using the Elytra and you're traveling incredibly fast. Apart from that, guys, that's all we have for this week's beta and if you're using cheats or hacks on servers and you've ever used them be very careful because you're going to get yourself banned although you shouldn't be using cheats or hacks or anything on servers like that anyway so yeah that's the latest information in the community have a great day stay beautiful and i'll catch you next time bye bye